right so yeah in this video we are going to see the wiring of this drive all right what are the internal wirings now you can see here this is a drive and we have wired the circuit here okay so these wires are basically coming to these wires these are the terminal box we have extended this wires the reason is because in this trainer we are using a PLC okay Micrologics 1400 over there that's the PLC we have connected the VFD wires wire relays to the PLC basically PLC is turning on the relays and relays are wired in such a way that if you turn on a relay these control terminals will be activated so how this is activated what is what is what do I mean by activated let's see that in the detailed wiring diagrams okay so as of now just understand that this PLC is connected to the drive okay so this is the diagram which you generally find in the PLC or VFD manual okay so I have created a modified diagram not modified but in interactive way this is the actual diagram on my trainer I'm explaining that because I'm going to work on the trainer in another further videos so I'll be linking my PLC to the drive so to understand my further lessons we need to understand this diagram as well okay so let's start from the top this is the input terminals onto which we have connected line and neutral and between line and neutral you can also connect your MCBs or a contactor or relays whatever you want okay so this is all about connecting the inputs which is 220 volts single phase or three phase 220 volt as well you can do that this is just an overview anyways yeah these are the control terminals 1 to 6 1 to 4 this is the same terminal which I have shown you in previous slides yeah these one these are the control terminals let's see what we have in here so you'll find on the drive there are some numberings you cannot see that but there are some numberings on the bottom okay that numberings you can also see here as well these one 0 1 to 6 and 11 to 16 these are the numbering now these numbers have some meaning okay so the 0 1 says stop this is the stop terminal 0 2 is start and run 0 3 is direction run reverse 0 4 is a DIG common digital common okay digital ground or common 0 5 is the digital input 0 6 is a digital input 2 1 and 2 these are the external terminal inputs okay just like we have M0 to M5 in that VFD of Delta this is DIG in one and in two and you may have more inputs in some other version in this version we just have two inputs then you have 11 number 24 volts internal 24 volt supply on 12 number you have 10 volts on this this is the next 13 number I forgot to mention here this is a 13 number which has 0 to 10 voltage input okay this is the voltage input terminal on which we have to connect 0 to 10 volt to run the drive in you know different speed of frequency this is the analog common this is the 4 to 20 milliampere input now let's see one by one what are the, these terminals and how I have connected this one so you'll find some over there let me start from here this is the PLC input card now we have connected a PLC input some terminals of PLC input to relay feedback terminal now these three terminals R1, R2 and R3 which you may find over here this R1, R2 and R3 this is a relay okay relay terminals PLC has an inbuilt relay if you find here this is a relay an Omron relay its three terminals are there common and NNC middle one is common okay so this middle one R2 is common if you know relay you might understand what is common and NNC and if you see in this symbol R1 is NO R3 is NC so this common is going to NC through R3 it is going to one of my PLC terminal I colon 0 slash 19 this is the last PLC input which I have connected to the NC of this drive now this relay gives you feedback feedback when your drive has a fault or feedback when your desired frequency has achieved or a feedback whether the drive is running at 0 to 10 volt or keep it controlled so we have various types of feedback which comes from the drive so it's up to you which feedback you want to read and if you want to read that one way is to you can connect directly some LEDs or indicators next to that or the other way is you can connect that to PLC so in my case I have connected this to my last input of PLC I colon 0 slash 19 and this is IN6 NO this is connected to I colon 0 slash 18 this is connected to my PLC and to the common I have provided 24 volts PLC common is 0 so this will be detected so let me show you a small overview yeah like this so the NC is already giving you a signal so I in 7 which is I colon 0 slash 19 in the PLC is on and this is off so when this relay is on this will get on and this will get off alright so if you want to see that in micro logics that's the PLC the letter diagram and here we can monitor the inputs this is the input and the input which is on is 
zero to fifteen. Let me see. That's my nineteen. Okay, I call in zero slash nineteen. This is already on. This is on because my NC terminal is going to IN seven. So like this. This is on. All right. So yeah, now we have PLC output card, not output card, we can say output terminals as well. Now this drive has to be connected to, in two ways, it can be connected as we call it sync wiring and source wiring. So right now it is source wiring, now what do we mean by that? There's a switch on the drive, if you see this camera, there's a switch over there, small switch over there, which says source and swing, there's a toggle switch. So right now my drive is at source. Now what happens when we do when we connect that to source? We have to connect 11 number, which is a 24 volts, to the input terminals to activate that. That is what source means because internally these terminals are having some transistors or you know some internal circuitry which is get shorted to zero volt. All right. So these terminal inside get shorted to zero volt when you when you toggle that switch to source. In the drive okay when you're thus when you're the switch is at source these are connected to zero volt internally so when you connect 24 volt externally these get activated so what we have done is our drive is connected in source mode okay in source mode we have connected 11 number directly to one number this is for stop via one relay NC contact which is R6 this is my R6 okay this relay is connected to O colon zero slash six, which says this is the PLC output. We can have we have this output here as well. This is the output. So what happened if I turn on this one? No matter what is the position of drive, the drive will get stopped. Okay. So right now drive is stop. Okay. Even even if I press run here, this will run. Okay. Now, right now. Our drive control is keypad control. That's why you can see this LED. All right. If you make your control to external control, this LED will be go off, and then you can start and stop the drive using these terminals. Using the terminals, which you can see here, yeah, the start run, direction run, DAG in, DAG in two. Now there are two ways to run the drive. One is from the keypad. One is from external terminals. When you are going for external terminals, then these terminals are being used. Okay. So during the course, I'll be telling you how to connect to these terminals, how to turn on the drive using 0203 and how to change the direction. As of now, what we have done is we have connected 24 volts via NO contact to 0203, 05 and 06. Now these NO contacts are of the relays which are connected to OUT2, OUT3, OUT4 and OUT5. So in a way, if you turn on O colon 0 slash 2 from the PLC from here, if you turn on this one, it will turn on this contact, it will close this contact and your 24 will go to pin number 02. Alright, so I'll be explaining you when we are going to start and stop the drive. And our OUT3 is connected to 03, OUT4 is connected to 05 and OUT5 is connected to 06 and our OUT6 is connected to stop terminal. Alright, so this was the control terminal to start stop and to change the frequency and to run in the jog mode. Alright, this is as of now. And these pair of terminals, uh, here we have a potentiometer to control the speed from external source. So the potentiometer you can also see here. That's the potentiometer. We can also control the speed from this potentiometer. So to do that, we have to connect the frequency, connect the potentiometer to pin number 12, 0 and analog common. So what happens? This analog common is basically 0 volt and this is 10 volt. So you have 10 volt signal here and you will get variable 0 to 10 volt signal at the middle point when you rotate that potentiometer which goes to 0 to 10 V in. I hope that makes sense. This is to control the frequency. Okay. And if you see this 4 to 20 milliampere, this is another terminal to control the frequency if your source is current 4 to 20 milliampere. It can be 0 to 10 volt, it can be 4 to 20 milliampere. So if you're providing current, this is another common for that. It's mutual common for voltage and current. All right and then your drive is connected to motor by UVW pin to three phase. So this is about how we have wired this drive. We have used a PLC to read the feedback. We have used a PLC outputs to turn on the inputs, to activate the inputs. This is the source wiring. And if you see the sync wiring, there's only one difference. Here 24 is not connected. DIG common is connected, okay? Common will go to the internal, this control terminals. And this 24 will go there. Common is not connected.
So that was about wiring the drive, how we can wire it in sync and source and how it's not necessary to use PLC and contacts here. We can use simple switches, toggle switches, NO switches, NC switches, but just to make this course a little more complex and to control that using a PLC, which most of the students are looking forward to, I have personally done this using a PLC to make it more, you know, more knowledgeable and to understand more better. We can make logics here. So parallelly, you can also practice PLC logics. It's MagLogic 1400 to control this drive. All right. Thank you.